I only have one word for that Chainsaw Man episode, and that word is wild. This episode, wow. Episode 8 of Chainsaw Man. If you haven't seen it, go do yourself a favor right now. Just go watch that episode. Literally put whatever you're doing on pause right now because nothing is worth it. Now, first of all, there's a lot to talk about in this episode. We have to talk about the beginning scenes with Himeno and Denji. Those scenes are very weird. Like, I feel like those were even more wild in the anime than in the manga. Because in the manga, right, when I read the manga, they kind of went by really quickly. Whereas in the anime, they flesh these scenes out a lot more and it makes... I know a lot of people don't like Himeno's character because of those moments. I don't really think I can mention what happened in those scenes because I think I'd get demonetized. I completely understand why people hate Himeno. Anyway, so Himeno and Denji propose a deal to each other. Uh, Himeno claims that, hey, if you help me with getting with Aki, I'll help you get with Makima. And Denji's like, sure, let's do it. The beginning portion of this episode shows us how much, how obsessed Denji is with Makima. He has some sort of obsession with her. Then the episode literally starts getting even more wild at like the 11th minute where, you know, Makima and some other person are on a train ride and I, I believe they're heading to Kyoto or they're coming from Kyoto. Either way, the people that are sitting behind them and, and the way they did it in the anime, they executed it so perfectly. Like, I thought they would off screen it, but they didn't. So they kill Makima, obviously using guns. And then it cuts away. We get to see Makima for a little bit dead. And it's kind of eerie. Even the OST in the background, it's like giving a very ominous vibe. We then cut around Tokyo where we see a lot of other devil hunters uh, getting shot as well. We then cut to power Himeno, Aki, and Denji who are having uh, ramen in a restaurant. And to the right of them, there's another man sitting by himself. And he's talking about how bad the food tastes. And you could see Aki, Power, and Himeno are minding their own business they're eating. But Denji's kind of interested in his story. And that man reveals to Denji that his grandfather was the Yakuza that, you know, Denji killed. So this man ends up pulling out a gun as well, starts shooting at them. He actually ends up hitting Denji and Himeno. Power attacks him. Uh, you know, Aki calls in Khan, which I love the scene when Khan appears. I think that was animated beautifully as well. And then Khan says to Aki, Aki, you put something disgusting in me. And the man just comes out in a katana form. And he starts wreaking havoc. Then we see Aki. We get this whole like 1v1 Aki versus this katana guy. And Aki pulls out his curse blade so Aki has this sword that he mentioned in the previous episode where he can't use it because it takes away his lifespan and we find out that this blade is a item from the curse devil and if you hit someone a certain amount of times they automatically die so he hits this katana guy three times and the fight was so cool I love the fights in Chainsaw like the animation top tier he ends up hitting him three times which is what he needed in order to kill him he ends up I think killing him. Then later we have this other character that appears. She's a girl. She brings back the Katana Man and she has a snake devil contract. And then I would say like the saddest part in this episode, I feel like this is a very sad moment for Aki mostly, uh, is Himeno's death. Yeah, Himeno dies this episode. I, I don't know what to tell you. So Himeno gives up her life uh, to the ghost devil in order to save Aki. And Aki and Himeno have a connection, so I, I genuinely feel really bad for Aki. I think that's where most of my emotion lies. Himeno isn't a character I was really too attached to, so I don't, I don't like, you know, it, it didn't really affect me. But I feel bad for Aki genuinely because it does look like he's sad and he did want to save Himeno. So she gives up her life for the Ghost Devil and she gets all of the Ghost Devil's power. And it's kind of like useless because that snake girl that I mentioned earlier, she just calls in that snake. She's kind of like Aki. She calls in like a fox. Instead of calling in a fox, she calls in a snake. She calls in the snake. The snake like beats up the ghost devil in like one shot just eats it and then we see Himeno's eye patch on the ground by itself uh Himeno's body is gone and uh yeah that's the episode when i say wild i uh, that's what i meant i did not i wasn't joking it, this was a wild episode like in my opinion this is one of the most wild episodes in anime history like i'm not even lying about that and i've seen a lot of anime but episodes don't get this wild but i did thoroughly enjoy the episode and, and the episode went by rather quickly like it finished like i feel like i just clicked play and it ended already and i think that's when you could tell like hey this was a very good episode that's usually a clear tell sign to me like when an anime episode is really good if the episode ends rather quickly and this was one of them um, other than that, I think this episode was great in terms of animation. Obviously, Chainsaw Man has been killing it. I've been mentioning this before. I feel like every episode is getting better. Even the Ghost Devil. I, I don't know if there was CGI when they when they animated the Ghost Devil, but it looked pretty clean, you know? And uh, yeah, honestly, a great episode. But listen, if you want more anime content, manga content, Chainsaw Man content, make sure you subscribe, turn the post notification bell. I think this is, yeah, I think this is the best episode of Chainsaw Man so far. It has to be, right? But listen, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everyone.